Dave and I are going to show you a pec minor, pec major fascial front arm line stretch which we have found to be unique and amazingly effective in opening up the whole of the chest area. From the muscular point of view it stretches pec major and pec minor and long head of biceps in particular but the whole of the biceps muscle and many of the forearm muscles but the more important dimension that we have found that in this position and breathing in the way that we're going to breathe all of the fascia from here through to here and right to the midline of the body on both sides can be stressed at the same time and it only takes seconds to do. I'm going to turn away so that you can see the form of how the partner does his thing and how I do my thing and, uh, and we'll both be describing exactly what it is that we're doing. So the first thing I'll do is turn away like so, so that you can see what we're doing. Dave will get himself into position. I sit up straight like this and the first thing I do is naturally at a natural width reach my arms back like this don't have them too narrow it'll make the exercise too intense and then I just relax now me as the assistant I get my hands as close to my partner's hands as possible this creates some integrity in the stick so it doesn't flex too much make sure my position is nice and stable you don't want to adjust midway through the exercise now find the least mobile bit of his thoracic with my foot. Just a fraction higher with the foot, Dave. A little bit higher. Uh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Lower foot bracing the lower spine. And then I sit up straight like this and I draw my shoulders back and down a little bit and in a moment Olivia will show you a partner assistance technique for that as well. And then all I do is I ask Dave to gently draw the stick straight back towards him and away from my shoulders. Like that, that feels fantastic. Also notice that Dave doesn't let my back move and in fact my uh, middle and, and upper back is actually forming around his foot. This helps open up the chest and we'll show you that at another angle in a moment. And then I breathe and I relax. You keep pulling on that stick Dave a fraction harder, that's beautiful. I breathe and I relax. Now we add a contraction to the mix so Dave braces himself and I pull the stick directly forward away from his hands and do this reasonably strongly five four three two one stop. When you do the stopping part don't stop too quickly that was lovely and I breathe in and on a breath out Dave pulls the stick back away from me even further. That's perfect. And the last part of this, once the actual stretching part has been done, is I breathe into the top of my chest. Breathe in. Lift the chest and Dave, pull back a fraction harder. That's absolutely sensational. Now I feel that from the midline of the chest all the way down to my arms on that line we were discussing before. This increases the diameter of the rib cage and makes a huge and substantial increase the, the sense of stretching the fascia. A little bit harder with the pull please Dave. It was only those last two that really got into the hole of the front of the chest. Oh, that's excellent and then slowly let the stick come away from me. Olivia is going to show you a shoulder repositioning assistance if you have the luxury of two partners which I do today so Olivia come in please and just show how you do this. What she's doing is the heel of her right palm is underneath the front of the shoulder and the other hand is on the shoulder blade itself she lifts at the front and pulls down at the back simultaneously. Oh, it just feels so good and immediately I feel that in my elbow joint and bicep actually, that's fantastic. And she's going to go around and show us what the other side looks like. So you can see both um, details from the both sides. So her hand is under the front of the shoulder, the other hand's on the shoulder blade. She lifts up at the front and down at the back simultaneously and down and around the shoulders go. So they're literally going further down on the rib cage and then Dave increases the pull. Oh, that's wonderful and watch the front of the chest now. I lift the front of the chest like this 
and you pull back a fraction more, Dave. Could you just move your foot up a fraction higher, please, the top foot? That's, that's definitely better for me. Now, I'll do a little contraction. Stay there, Liv. Pull. <sighs> Breathe in. Lift the chest and Dave, pull back a fraction harder. That's absolutely sensational. Now, I feel that from the midline of the chest all the way down to my arms on that line we were discussing before. And the idea is to breathe into the top of the chest. Watch how it changes the shape of the chest. Pull back a fraction harder. Ah, lovely, and one more. And now we, the coming up of part of the pose is also tremendously important. When the partner releases the effort, do it slowly. We are certain that this part of the brain that we're working on, the somatosensory cortex, does the remapping of the new range of movement not when you're doing the contraction, but as you're slowly coming out of it. The brain's constantly testing and retesting what range of movement is there via the proprioceptors, and that's just what we've stretched. We're going to show you a second contraction too if you have a partner. Watch this. Let's assume I'm, I've done the first stretch and the re-stretch. Okay, Liv. Liv places her hands on the very front of my shoulders like this, and gently lean some weight. And as you can see, that already by itself straightens up my upper back even further. Now when I do the contraction, instead of thinking about pulling my hands away from the sticks as the only contraction, I'm actually pushing my shoulders into her hands like this. Oh, that's immense. I take a breath in. And Dave pulls my arms and shoulders back and Liv simply stays with them. It, this adds a tremendous dimension of comfort to the stretch as well. And the second addition that the second partner can make is this. She places her hand on my chest like this, and then I direct myself to breathe into the hand. Now just watch how this works. You can probably see how much the chest is moving. And this is one of our most important tactile cues. We found that, like that old yoga saying has it, where attention goes, prana follows. When you've got somebody touching you on a part of the rib cage, you can literally direct your breath into that area. So now just gently take your hand away, Liv. And I'll slowly come out of the stretch. Uh, it feels absolutely fantastic. Thank you. When you're doing a two foot support, uh, sometimes having two legs out in space after a few seconds in it, it starts becoming hard and unstable, which is not good for the partner's stretching. So what you can do is put the bottom leg knee under the top leg and rest it there. It makes it very solid. You can mm, that, posture that up. That immediately feels more stable. That's great. Lift the chest up. Try and use the back muscles. So have straight arms. Don't have bent arms. You'll fatigue really quickly and it's also a little bit more unstable. So up here. Nice and strong. And then, Dave, I think you were going to show an alternative foot position too, weren't you, on the shoulder blades? Try yep. that. So if we gently reposition, yes, we can always do... Always make your repositioning really slow. We can do a two-foot version where you get both big toe under the inferior <sighs> angle of the scapula. This one's a little bit harder on the balance of the person assisting for the stretch, but if you can do it... Still feels good, though. Provides a little bit. Yes, and, and it's more. Oh, that's actually that's it's just a different sensation. So my suggestion is try both. This is definitely affecting my biceps and the front arm line and the arm itself more than the chest. So definitely worth doing, I think. The last version is you can, if the person has restriction in the upper bit of the thoracic, get your foot even higher. The support foot now goes on the middle thoracic. Oh, that's marvellous. For me, that's marvellous because this, the top part of, the, of my back, that's the stiffest part. Gently pull back a bit further, please, Dave. Oh, pull back fantastic. with leaning, not with force. Ah, oh, truly excellent. Thank you. Slowly release. <laughs> 